This brief Wireless Insight tutorial is going to take us through how to take a basic office plan and expand it into an actual office building. The original floor plan ended about here, and we've added two open spaces in the bottom that we're going to actually add a stairwell to on each side. But I've also left the wall off here so I can show you how to edit the wall. So go to Select, Feature, right click, I can edit the floor plan, and now by default we can add materials as drywall, but if I want to modify that I can go to Replace Material. I'm going to select Brick. In my door material I can select, in this case, Metal. Now if I just click OK, I added a brick wall, but let's say I actually wanted to make that wall drywall. There's two ways I can do this. The first one is I can simply select the face, hit the right mouse button, and I can change the material. And here our selection grid comes up, and I can change it to drywall. The other option is if I'm editing the feature, I can right click on the wall segment and edit the wall profile, double click on brick, select the material from here and change it to drywall. The material that you have selected for wall will actually go above a door or around a window if you create either of those two objects. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a door. As you can see, it came up with brick. Had this been drywall, it would fill in this extra material with drywall. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change that from metal to free space to have an open door frame. So now we're going to create a stairwell here. I'm going to create my stairwell by creating three different floor sections then editing the vertices. Now zooming in you can see that this is rather flat and it does not look like a stairwell. So if I go ahead and select face I can either translate the face, or I can actually go to Properties, and I can view the vertices. And right now all my vertices are at zero, 0, so if I double click, I can change all these to 1.5 meters. If I change my view, you can see that I actually translated that one piece of floor up a little bit. But now I need to create my stairs. Once again, I'm going to edit the vertices. I could do this by rotation, but since I already know the endpoints, I'm actually going to enter them indirectly. And you can see here I have a flight of stairs going up now. So I'm going to edit the other one. And I have a flight of stairs going up. I'm going to switch my view to the perspective view. You can see that I have one stairwell going up, a landing, and then a second stairwell going up further. So now I've gone ahead and I've created one stairwell over here and one stairwell over here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select Feature and I'm going to duplicate it. This brings up this dialog box to tell you where you can translate this to. Now I can move it up in the air and create several floors or I can move it over to create two vertical sections of office space with a gap in between for an atrium.
Now if we look here we have two different office spaces with a gap in the center. Unfortunately we have outside windows facing the same way so we're going to have to go ahead and edit our floor plan and switch around some of these features. So I've gone ahead and I've finished modifying our file. I've corrected this hallway so it wraps properly around the building and corrected some of the room structure. I've gone ahead and added the atrium floor along with the class window that's in front of the atrium. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to create the second floor based on this structure. So I'm going to select features. I'm going to hold down the control key to select both of them at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to duplicate the feature. We're going to translate it up three meters. And as you can see here, we actually have two floors to our building. In the actual building, the atrium has an open floor structure, so there's no actual floor here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that face and delete it. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to add the balcony that's over on just this side of the atrium. So I've taken our basic floor plan and I've copied it and moved it six different times to create six different floors. I've added a roof to all sections, but I've left the atrium open temporarily. So to finish off our model, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create the glass roof on the top of the atrium. I've created the roof out of two separate rectangles, and I'm going to edit the vertices to create a peak. We'll do the same for the two front windows, which I remade as two separate sections. And now you can see our fully completed building, along with glass atrium in the center.